Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Comic Storytelling. I'm your host, Paul Roseberry. And guys, tonight I have a story for you about the best haircut I've ever had and the worst haircut I've ever had and how they are directly related. So, you gotta hear this. And I'll, I'll say, this is a cut I did to myself last night because I, I cut my own hair now. I cut my own hair now. And a big part of the reason is because the best haircut I could ever get in my life has come and gone. And this is what happened. I used to live in New York City. I would always try different places for a better haircut because no one ever gave a really good cut. It's always the same guy cut. It's just too short, too tight, blah, just get out the door, no matter where you go. So I'm always skipping around. So I go on Yelp this one day and I'm looking for a new place to get a haircut. I find this place in the East Village. Four and a half stars, over 5,000 reviews. Holy shit, this is unbelievable. All the other hair, haircut places are like three stars, three and a half, four and a half, 5,000 reviews. I'm zipping through the reviews and it's all one name. Like not all, but I see the same name enough. It's like Raphael or some shit, Raul, I don't know what his name was, fucking something with an R, boom. Raphael, Raphael, Raphael. I go straight down there. Not three days later, right now. I go down. Yeah, I show up. Sure as shit, Raphael is over there zipping away, doing some people, and he's got a couple guys waiting. I'm like, this is gonna be great. So I sit and I wait and I wait. I see a couple other guys pop their head in and they're like, see that there's a line and they say forget it because they only want him. There are other barbers, but they want this guy. Oh, this is gonna be good. My, my, my hopes aren't up, but I'm excited. I might've found the guy, New York's finest. <sighs> Finally, I sit down for the haircut, it's my turn. This fucking guy, the place seemed Russian, but he didn't seem Russian. You never know, I don't know. Sometimes Russians all look different, but this guy, he was like a young, trim guy with a great haircut himself. He just looked the part. This guy starts working my hair like a goddamn, uh, like Michelangelo. He's sh brushing it all to one side, snip, 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 snip. I'm like, oh my God. And then all to the other side, snip, 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 snip. This guy's like mathematical in his haircut. He is so systematic. They got shit hanging from the ceiling. It wasn't even that expensive. It was like an odd Russian place, but like their hair dryers would hang from shit from the ceiling where they could just pull it down. And then when they were done, they'd zoop it back up. Unique place. Guy cuts through the haircut. By the time I'm done, best haircut of my life. No question about it. Unfucking believable, this guy. I'm so excited. I tell the guy, I shook his hand. I'm like, dude, you are all of what those reviews said. This is fantastic. I walked out of there an inch taller and it wasn't even expensive. It was like 17 bucks or some shit. I tip him 25%. You, you, you take care of a guy like this. And sure enough, he's on to the next, doesn't even care. Almost no English. I don't even know if he understood what I said to him. Great guy, great cut. I'm walking on air. I give it the customary month or so, maybe six weeks. It's about how long you know, before you like get a chance to get back in. I decide to revisit the well. <laughs> it's time to get round two of the greatest haircut of all time. Let's go see Raphael. Now, I go down there. He's there. Sure, sure he is. And there is a line, there are several other guys lined up in the window, sitting against the inside of the window, waiting for him. This time, I'm not just la-di-da hanging out on a day off. I got shit to do. I'm going to a party. I'm going to a football party to watch the Patriots with some New England guys over in Brooklyn and uh, some guys I know. And then there are going to be other friends of theirs who I don't know. And I'm looking forward. I'm going to meet some new people and we're going to hang out and it's going to be great. But I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a fucking time crunch here. I got to go. So I deviate just a little bit. I say, well, the 5,000 reviews and the four and a half stars weren't just Raphael on Yelp. It was for this place. Sure, his name came up a lot, but it, I sell myself on saving some time and I go with another guy is my point. There was another guy, also young, also in good shape, good looking guy, nice haircut on him. He worked back to back from Raphael. Raphael faces this way, this guy faces this way. I say, I don't have time. Cut the lane. 
Go with guy number two. Let's hope he's from the Raphael school of thought. <sighs> guys, I don't know if you know, women, I don't, I really hope you guys don't go through this, you know, maybe, maybe we all have at some point. Women, barbers cutting your hair and they're fucking it up. You get that feeling of like, oh, I think that that's too short. I just, they do one thing and you're like, I don't see how that's gonna blend, if you will. It's, it, I, it, it can't. But this guy, you know, somehow they often pull it off. They do some other move and then you're like, ooh, okay, it does, it looks okay, actually. Come to find out, all right, I was nervous for nothing. But you hold your breath a little bit in the chair. We start getting that feeling with this fucking guy. And it's not just because I walked in expecting the greatest haircut ever, because I was. But I'm, I'm coming back to reality of like, I just want a decent cut. And then I'm getting that like, oh, that looked too fucking short. Oh, that's too fucking short. How is he going to fix this? And then sure as shit, when you expect a couple little pieces of magic trim is just going to blend it in, he goes, and we're good. What do you think? And I'm like, I got to say, I fucking yelled at him. I turned around and I go, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he yelled at the guy. I fuck, I straight up yelled at him. I was so mad because my expectations are so high and this cut sucks so fucking bad. I got out of the chair, I go, what the fuck is this? I go, what, you ruined it. Yeah, this is terrible. I look like a fucking state trooper. I said, I told you I have a party to go to. I'm looking like an asshole going to this party. What, what the fuck? And the whole place Froze. There were four to six other total chairs in the place and people are cutting hair. The guy, Raphael, stops what he's doing. He turns around. Everyone stops what they're doing. People are getting their haircuts. They're like, what the fuck is going on over there? And this is absolute shit. I'll go to a fucking party. I can't walk in looking like that. I mean, I fucking lost my whole shit on this fucking guy. The guy is mortified. I don't know how much English he speaks, but he knows this is not what you want to have happen at the end of a haircut. I'm fucking furious. And then I school him. I actually school him. I did this. I go, you know what? I go, listen, because I try to be rational even when I get upset. I go, you seem like a nice guy. I think you're probably a good dude. You need to learn from this guy how to cut hair. And I point to Raphael. I said, that guy is a fucking magician. That guy is a scientist at cutting hair. You need to just take a day off. Come in on your day off, watch him all day long and learn how to cut hair from him and do what he does and then you'll be fantastic. But this shit is not, you shouldn't be doing this to people. And I mean. <laughs> he like fucking ran out back. He ran out back. Aww. Yeah, he ran out back because he didn't know what to do. There's this big Russian woman who probably could have kicked my ass. Just her. She's a massive woman behind the counter. She doesn't know what to do. They're, they're Russians. They're not trying to give a free cut. I, I still had to pay for that shit. But I knew last time I was there, I had to fight. No, the Russian mob is going to cut my legs off. I don't fuck. I'm going to pay for this shit. But uh, I, I had noticed that, that because all Russian uh, barbers in New York, they have alcohol in the in the... Barbershop, you just gotta know where it is, you gotta ask for it. Sometimes it's right out in the open. These guys had this globe, they had this plastic globe, and I had seen it open before. They might have given me a shot. I go, and let's get this thing open. I need some fucking shots. And so I start one, two, three. I did three fucking shots of, of, of vodka while I'm waiting for the credit card. It wouldn't process, wouldn't process. Now they're getting nervous, like it won't go through. I'm like, what the fuck? Come on, I don't wanna be here. And now I'm embarrassed of myself because I've been screaming. Everyone's uncomfortable. I'm starting to feel a little loose from the shots. I gotta get the fuck out of here. We all need this to be over. And the credit card just wouldn't fucking, ugh. Finally, it goes through. I think I still gave him a tip because I just, he got my point. You know, like, I think, yeah, I think you were pretty clear. he got my point and I told him, I said, I get, I'm like, dude, you seem like a good dude. <laughs> he did. He seemed like a nice guy. He's like a young dude. But, uh, I, again, I look like a fucking state trooper and I was so mad. So anyway, um, I could never go back there again. I could, I did. Holy shit. I almost forgot. I did go back though. Believe it or not. I, sh I swear to God, I God, it's been a while since I told this story. I did go back. Six weeks later, I go back. And I want Raphael to cut my hair again. 
and it ain't happening. He says yes. But Raphael remembers I'm the guy who had a fucking nuclear meltdown when his buddy fucked my shit up. And now he is Edward Nervous Hands. He's fucking, he's fucking chilly willy, man. He, 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 he's not hot. He's fucking cold and he's uncomfortable and he doesn't do the shit where he brushes it all down and trips and brushes it. He's just fucking, he's just trying to get it done, dude. He's nervous as shit and the haircut sucked, sucked. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't anywhere near the work of art he'd done before. And I knew, I knew from the vibe and the feeling there was no fixing the yelling that had occurred from the last terrible haircut. There's nothing to do. So the one place in New York City that had four and a half stars on 5,000 reviews and had Raphael, I fucked it up. The one place, and I am the reason I couldn't go back. And uh, knowing, so since then I know that I've, I've had the greatest haircut I'll ever have, you know. Hopefully I have enough hair to cut for the rest of my life and maybe I get something good down the road. But I, I cut my own hair now because uh, uh, God damn it. Anyway, Chelsea has cut my hair. When Chelsea tried to cut my hair, I, I mostly did it. And then I said, hey, can you help me with the back a little bit? Just that little bit, you know, where it's like the bottom of the hairline, but you want like the little cr crazy little hairs to be done away. I give her the trimmer. She says she's nervous. This isn't me nervous about. Just the hair kind of goes to a point, And then there's little scraggles. Just, just clean up the scraggles. She's like, but I feel nervous. I said, really? I don't understand why you're feeling nervous. She goes, but I am. And I just, I said, just honey, just relax and just clean along the edge. <laughs> Dude, she takes the trimmer, buzzers on, and just goes, ah, just straight ahead. Just straight from where her hand was, which is up here, she fucking, boom, just, and just shaved a fucking, a line right across, the, dude, she's like three inches above, anywhere near what looks like neck, and she just fucking, and I'm like, stop, stop right now, and she stopped immediately, because she knew, that didn't make any fucking sense, you know, like, I don't, I could have just closed my eyes and done that, and I've, I would say she's never done it. She has. We've had her help a little bit since, but uh, uh, under like monitored supervision, I don't know, very clear instructions. But uh, that was a little Chelsea signature from her first time cutting my hair. Anyway, I really wanted to share the time that I had the best haircut and the worst haircut and why I could never again get the best haircut. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the story. I'm sweating bullets. It's tonight's episode of Behind the Comic. I'm Paul Roseberry, and I wish you all a great haircut.